The testimony of Yahweh is sure, making wise the simple. That's right, we used to be simple, man. We used to be simple, not following the truth. Now all of a sudden the Lord opened our eyes to what we need to do. We need to push these prophecies. Because the Heavenly Father in Isaiah 63, he's gonna smash these Edomites and paint blood all over his God. There's gonna be blood up to a horse's bridle, man. And the horses, somebody on horseback, they tall as hell. There's gonna be blood painting the streets. It's gonna be Terminator 2 Judgment Day out here, man. I was just through the spirit, I was watching that the other day. Because it's just getting ready to go down. Mm -hmm. These ICBM nuclear missiles, let's get the missile scripture. Uh, I think it's Micah. Somebody get these missiles out, man. Let's, the Lord's gonna blow this place up, man. We just cut, cut straight to the chase. We're gonna cut straight to the chase and tell you, you don't repent, the Lord's gonna put your ass to death. Right? You're just gonna get put to death. Smooth, man. You won't repent, which means to turn back to the laws of the Heavenly Father. Because no Edomites can repent, by the way. You're not an Israelite. White people ain't gonna repent. You hate the scriptures anyway. Well, even if they did repent, don't make no difference to the Lord said that they have found no place to repent. That's right. They can get on their hands and knees and beg all they want to. The Lord ain't here. That's right. The Lord ain't hearing their cries for help. Because we're supposed to hope the Lord ain't choose their ass anyway. The lot of the Lord's inheritance is Israel. Jacob, my chosen, all right? My servant, who I'm not chosen, which is synonymous with the 12 tribes of Israel. That's why we got the sign right there, man. It's all about the sign. The people who are disenfranchised in this place are the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. These so-called white people got so much goddamn privilege, they don't know what the hell the suffer is, man. They think suffering's not having their goddamn iPhone charger. You think you don't have an iPhone charger, you gonna cry. Yeah, you ain't got no internet service. The Wi-Fi is tweaking. So you gonna cry. Instagram feed, that's not loaded. That's, yeah, that, that's loaded yeah, yeah. Yeah. The Instagram feed says could not load. Yeah, so they stopped trying. They got only uh, the likes. Yeah, you got a couple of, yo, there's a girl, there's a girl who killed herself because she didn't have enough likes on Facebook, man. That's, that's absolute folly, man. That's why this place got to be destroyed. The Lord fed somebody to be scripted. Let's get these missiles out, man. I pray you all about you hasten the day. Hasten, hasten the day, man. Go ahead. Zechariah chapter 14 and verse 12. Listen up, man. This is your judgment. If we got to read you your arraignment. This is the arraignment of you demons, man. All you devils going to be destroyed by the heavenly father. Listen up. And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Woo! Now who the hell is the people that fought against Jerusalem? These Edomites. These pasty-faced red devils, man, who look like Purdue chicken. Their face look just like some pork over at the damn Walmart. The Lord ain't dealing with your ass. Because you got our women out here looking crazy, man. Huh? You got our men looking crazy, man. Huh? The lineups, shaving their beard off, they're supposed to look like a real man. They're supposed to look like a man. They ain't supposed to look like no goddamn female. Go ahead. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. Woo! And their... <laughs> hey, your flesh is gonna consume away while you're standing. The Lord's gonna do that, man. That's a beautiful judgment. And these people deserve it, man. Because you know you're not, you know you're sinning against the Lord. You got hatred in your heart with the black man, so-called black man, Hispanic, Latino. You hate the hell out of us, man. If you could, you'd kill all of us, man. Because he wanted to kill East or Jacob from the beginning, man. He said, I shall surely kill my brother Jacob, man. That's why they kill. Why do you think Black Lives Matter exists? Because they're accomplishing what they said they was going to do. They told you they was going to kill your ass. Go ahead. <laughs> and their eyes shall consume away in their holes. <laughs> Woo! Your eyes are going to. Most of you women, you so gone, there ain't no hope for you, man. You so gone, you won't listen to the Holy Scriptures, man. There's nothing for you but death and brimstone and fire for your ass. Because you're just a goddamn demon and you won't repent no matter what we say, man. That's okay. Coloring your hair off funny, chopping your hair off. Look at that devil. That's a goddamn devil, man. She want attention. That's okay. That's why and the Lord's going to kill you, man. Wonder why? Because you won't listen to your man. You acting like a man. You dressing like a man. You 
looking like a man and you're not a goddamn man. But then you're going to talk about feminism. You talk about feminism, but you don't push masculinity, man. But you really push masculinity. That's what you're pushing. So you trust me, you know, you notice these so-called lesbians. They got uh, uh, girl, other girls who, who look like a man. Because you just want, you know what you really want. But you ain't gonna get it, because the Lord ain't dealing with your ass. Go ahead. Yes, Lord. And their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. Yes, your tongue is gonna consume away in your mouth when the Lord blow this place to hell with missiles. And he's gonna deliver his elect with the chariots of Yahweh, while Shem Yahweh shine. Right. And your ass gonna be left in a pile of dust. Somebody get me uh, 2nd Ezra 13, and uh, I think it's, well, you know what it is. You know what it is. Hey, let's bring that out. Yeah, the Lord's gonna swiftly dis dispatch your ass, man. He's gonna just swiftly dispatch your ass like an Apache helicopter, man. Which they took that name, by the way, from the Gadite American, Native Americans, man. Which we ain't no fucking Native Americans, we're Israelites. We're Gadites. We're men fit for the battle. Fit for the war with shield and buckler. That's why we was hard to take down in South Florida. You had to surrender and take your ass back some other way. Because Reuben is the firstborn of the Lord. He's the strength of uh, 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 Jacob, rather. He's the firstborn of Jacob. So he had the strength of his father, man. Woo! Get chilled, man. Let's get it. Go ahead. Keep going. This is 2 Ezra 13 and 11. And they were all mixed together, the blast of fire, the flaming breath, and the great tempest. He'll go a little bit before that. Yep, because the Lord, when the Lord returns, there's going to be a gathering against the Lord. They're going to think they're doing the right thing with the Space Force bullshit. They're going to try to come against the Ahawah Bashem Yahushua. But really what's going to happen is that's going to be your undoing, dummy, because you've fallen right into the trap of the Heavenly Father. The Lord is the orchestrator of all things. And first and foremost, you're supposed to repent. You're supposed to repent to come back to the laws of the Heavenly Father. If not, your ass gonna be a barbecued potato chip, man. You will be smoked in ashes, man. Go ahead. This is 2nd Ezra 13 and starting at 5. Yep. And after this, I beheld and lo, there was gathered together a multitude of men out of number from the four winds of heaven. That's right, there's a lot of multitude of men that's gonna gather together at the final battle. Just like that movie Independence Day, He's like, yeah, we're all gonna come together for a common cause, for the American, for the human race. Well, first off, the Lord ain't dealing with that. The Lord set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. These people were born for dead women. No way out of the goddamn wash pot. No more, but we're supposed to be doing our women's nails, man. That's why they do that shit. They subconsciously gotta serve people. They have to do it. That's right. They have to. They're used to that sweatshop. Shit. Ain't nothing to them. You can't convince no regular folks to do that shit. He says more of it's a wash pot. <laughs> yeah, it's a wash pot. Yeah. He's a damn servant. Go ahead. To subdue the man that came out of the sea. Yeah, that's Yahweh shot. All right? You're going to try to subdue the man that came out of the sea. Yahweh shot. Go ahead. Verse 6. But I beheld and lo, he that graved himself a great mountain and drew and flew up upon it. Yeah, a great mountain, that's a chariot. The Lord is not really flying on an actual mountain. It's gonna be so fast, it's gonna look like a mountain, like Mount Everest. You see, it's so damn big, you're like, well, it's larger than life. The Lord is bad as ever, man. The Lord, when the Lord returns, it's gonna be a big spaceship as big as Mount Everest, man. Even bigger than that. It's gonna cover the entire earth. It's gonna cover the entire earth. So what the hell are these people going to do to stand up against the Lord? Where's your Black Lives Matter, your Trans Lives Matter then? What you going to do, man, when the Lord destroy your ass? He just burn you to a crisp because he's sick and tired of your father. And your little philosophies that you pushing for, man. The Lord don't give a damn if you disagree or not. Because you're going to be a heap of smoke anyway when he vaporize you, man. And he dispatch you with specific uh, 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 clarity, man. Like a laser, man. Go ahead. Verse 7. But I would have seen the region or place where the hill was graven. 
and I could not. Right, because it was so fast, you couldn't determine it from beginning to end. Yup. Yeah, you can't measure it, man. You can't measure the Lord. You ain't gonna be able to get his location, man. You ain't gonna be able to get the Lord's location. And you're gonna be in a big heap of trouble then. Then we're gonna see you try to fight then. Go ahead. Like then what I remember a couple of months ago. Uh, it was caught on a satellite, a chariot, uh, so many times greater than the size of uh, the movement of the earth, I forget, a couple months ago. And then ever since that moment, everything's been accelerated. Because yep. remember, that's the chariot of the of Israel. Right? Yep. Yeah, man, that's the salvation of Israel right there. And they came to the apostles, apostles of GMS, so their mindset in the, uh, GMS Chicago. Exactly. So the elite's mindset is they need to get the school in order and motion before yeah. the Lord returns. He needs to get that chip administered to as many individuals as possible before the Lord returns because he knows that he has that short time. He knows that that's his thing. Back up what the Lord is saying about the space force. You see, that's his pitiful, sad attempt at trying to control his narrative as well as his rulership. Uh, he's trying to continue to think, as the scriptures say, that his house is going to continue forever. No. That's his last thing, to be able to remain in power. Only it's recorded in the scriptures that Satan was cast out of heaven, him and all his angels. Like the brother quoted, that's not born in heaven. You know, it's funny, that's how, how the spirit works. I was actually looking at that earlier. See, the Lord going to destroy this man and says that sal now, now has salvation come, right? Because when the Lord returns back, when Yahweh Shai is given the command from his father and all the, the hosts of heaven with him, as America's being burned up with fire and other, you know, select places around the globe, the Lord is destroying all the enemies of Israel, he's going to be simultaneously cleaning up the Lord's elect. So in the midst of that destruction, the fire is being Rain down from the beautiful, majestic, okay, but unspeakable power that's going to come from the chariot. The Lord's elect will be cleaned up and we will also be changed. Go ahead. Precept for you, brother. And, uh, I, I know you said you had a precept, so as soon as you read yours, brother, you can get yours. Joel chapter 3, verse 2. I will also gather all nations and will bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat. Right, and so right now you have um, one of the most recent, what you could call rumors of war, huh? is between China and America, because America is equipping, uh, I forget exactly, it's, uh, it's a province that China doesn't recognize, um, Taiwan, they don't recognize it as an independent uh, country, you know, they still consider that Chinese territory. So. America is doing dealings with Taiwan to equip them militarily. And China's saying, if you proceed with that, then they're going to retaliate. Okay? And that's just one example. Where are the real Jews? Where are the Israelites? There are tensions going on right now, okay, that where the brothers are meeting right now, yeah. where the Lord is muscling up the host of the battle. So he's preparing the minds of the nations through these different events, all right? to ultimately bring them into that World War III. And I just wanted to use that as an example because that's one of the most recent events that has happened. Down in the Middle East. Yep. Just to bring your eyes your point. Um, and it says, Salakia. Well, that's where all the nations ultimately are going to be gathered. That's right. Of, uh, that's right. I will also gather all nations and bring them down into the Valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with them Dear for my people. That's right. And for my heritage. Right. So Israel. The Lord is gathering all those nations because it was given unto Yahweh Shai to take control over all the people, to subdue all. That's why he's known as the King of Kings because he's literally in that one event going to undo all the dominions of the heaven, uh, all the dominions of the earth. Right. Okay? Right. He's going to destroy the dominion of Esau, the dominion of Moab. The dominion of Ham, the dominion of the Elamites, the Ishmaelites. Okay, all these different uh, uh, arrangements and agreements. Right. But the Lord will destroy them all in that World War III, all in that uh, destruction. That's right. That thermonuclear destruction. If I may say, that goes to what you were at Second Ezra, that he said, um, they 
Would that go on if he does fight? Yep, yep. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you want to see, let me get this point out there. You can read that. Yeah, so lock yeah. it. He's on it still? Yeah. He's yeah. still loaded. Whom they have scattered, whom they have scattered amongst the nations and parted their, my land. And they parted the land too. So that, that, that was, I thought that, that all came out, but you could, yep. that, that could, that could broaden the whole story. Right. And a fun fact, yeah. uh, Israel is about 32 degrees latitude, 32 degrees longitude. Mm. Which is right dead smack center of the center of the earth. And the scripture saying Galatians, if I'm not mistaken, Jerusalem is the mother of us all. That's right. So that's the center of the earth, man. Sure. All right? But well, he had a precept real quick after. Uh, so that's Jerusalem. It's all about Jerusalem, man. Which is a people before us a place. This is out of the book of Isaiah, chapter 9, starting at verse 5. It's a lot, it's on the verse 4. It says, For thou hast broken the yoke of his burden, mm. and the staff of his shoulder, the rod of his oppressor, and as in the day of Midian. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise, and garments rolled in blood, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. Yeah, exactly. That, that's ultimately what it's got to come down to. It's got to come down to a battle, man. This man got to get physically removed from power, man. And Daniel, it says that the saints of the Lord shall take the kingdom. You have to take your ass and rip you out of the power seat because you know these Edomites are proud as hell. They're not going to give it away, man. Go ahead, brother. Here we go. Let me go back to 2nd Edges. 2nd Edges 13, back at 7. But I would have seen the region or place where out the hill was driven, and I could not. And after this, I beheld, and lo, all they which were gathered together to subdue him were sore afraid, and yet just fight. That's right. These people are going to be afraid, just like in that movie Independence Day, man. Mm -hmm. They were scared as hell of what the hell these aliens was doing, man. They thought they was about to lose that fight, hey. which they are going to lose that fight. They ain't going to be flying in the damn outer space. Don't want to fight the alien spaceship and blow it up like uh, Luke did the Death Star, man. This ain't no damn science fiction. The Lord is going to actually, seriously destroy America with missiles uh. from Russia and Iran. It's right in the Ezekiel 38 chapter. What you got to do is just read it. Yeah, if you read opinion. Ezekiel 38 on down, you'll find out who these other nations are. Yeah, God can make God symbolizes Russia, man. Right. But we got the breakdown. We try to give that knowledge to these people to let them know to repent. All right? And to ball and mess it. All these places, all the places is going to be destroyed. Ultimately, because they're going to gather against the Lord and fight. What's that fight going to come down to? You can go ahead. Verse 9. The second edge is the 13th chapter. Verse 9. Go ahead. And lo, as he saw the violence of the multitude that came, he neither lifted up his hand nor held sword, nor any instrument of war. That's right, because the Lord don't got to fight you with no hands. Uh, as people be saying, your hands are too short to box with the Lord anyway. Darn. You can't fight the Lord because you're too short. You're too small. You're too weak. Like your karma said, you don't have the vigor. You don't have the vigor. Well, I got a precept. <laughs> remember that, your karma? I got you don't remember that. That was a while ago. <laughs> Isaiah chapter 47 verse 3. It says, Thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yet thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. So you're, you're thinking that some stringy haired white man's gonna come out the sky uh, uh, skate, with skates on, all right, looking like, uh, uh, looking like, uh, what's that dude, man? Shaggy from Scooby Doo. The Lord ain't shaggy, man. It's like the Lord is ultimately coming back as a spiritual, supernatural force who has at will the ability to enter in and out of the fourth dimension at wow. will. Wow. Can you say that again, bro? Yeah, they, 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 they're oh, interdimensional, man. Yeah, the Lord, yeah, how, yeah, how will shine the angels are interdimensional? They, they can at will go in and out of different dimensions. And they have all the power of the universe on their side given unto them from the Heavenly Father. How can you possibly fight against that? The carnal weapons are no factor the super powers of the heavenly father through his son how we shine the holy angels yeah, and the lord said that specifically it's actually. an unfair fight yep. he said all power has been given unto me in heaven man and on earth 
all power. That's every power there is. Yeah, when you see the type of power that's coming, the scriptures talk about men's hearts are going to fill them for fear for those things that are coming upon the earth. Yep. It's it's those are the chariots, which is probably really easy, probably seen from afar. And some of the things we've seen them do, literally portals opening up, chariots going in, coming yep. out. All right, um, little char chariots moving at the speed of light. Uh -huh. All you do is see them one minute and they see streak across the sky and they just disappear like that. Now, when they actually really reveal themselves and they manifest themselves to the world, beginning with the hour shot, people are going to literally drop dead for the very sight in which they see. Damn. The Lord ain't hadn't done nothing yet besides come into the Earth's atmosphere. Sure. Let alone when the fire starts dropping down. Start seeing spirits and, and other magnificent wonders. You don't understand what it's going to be like, man. We have little, you know, inklings of understanding, but like I always say, we don't understand the totality. But when the outside really comes back and say that the earth itself is going to rock to and fro like a trumpet, man. Because that's the type of force that the Lord is coming with in conjunction with those pieces. So it's going to be a sight to behold, to say the least. Man. Like I said, what, what we're going to witness is going to be unfathomable. Well, speaking of witness, there was 500 people that the Lord revealed himself to after he rose from the dead. As it is written, his, his flesh shall not see corruption. Because after three days, the body decomposes. And the Lord wasn't going to see no corruption because he was righteous. Man. All right? The Lord made him righteous. Yahweh made Yahweh shine righteous. Man. And then he revealed himself on the 500 people. An infallible proof, which means undisputed. There was no question that the Lord uh, uh, was, was official, man. He well, showed himself. We had that witness written within us. Yep. We had the testimony. And though he arrived, but Chicago said a powerful scripture, I think it's, uh, what's it, uh, he showed himself a uh, slot in. Yahweh Shah did so many miracles that all the books in the world cannot contain those things that the Lord did, man. Right. Think about that real quick for a second, man. All the things that Yahweh Shai did in his life, all the books in the world cannot contain those things which he did. That's written. That's in the scriptures. Read that out, man. That's the <laughs> Damn, yo, no, that's Paul. Remember what it was? Hey, brother, I got a precept for you. Yeah, it's going to the point about you saying how the earth went to and from the yeah, yeah. to and fro. Yep. Is there the number for that? Because it's going to be 200 million missiles. Right. All right, this is Revelation. Chapter chapter 9, verse 16. And the number of the army of the horsemen. That's the that's the horsemen, it's the, the, the missiles. Yeah. Alright. Were two thousand two hundred thousand thousand. And I heard the number of them. And John heard the number of them. And he saw them. Alright, because he he, he going to give you a description of them. Right? And thus I saw the horses. And in the vision, and them that set on on them having breastplates. That was the um the um the um the arm um, the, um, the, um, the, um of the of the church of the missiles. Yep. All right. Of fire. Um, and of jasper, a jasper slot here, and brimstone, and the the head of the horses were as the head. Of lions, and that, and that that was the um warheads. That's it. That's it. Two hundred, because there, there are multiple warheads in one missile. Uh, so here, that's where the force is. Gun, and that's what that's where um the um that's where the earth going to shake to and fro, like you said. Right. All right. It's also reported that uh -huh. they're uh, fiery, fiery serpents. Woo! <laughs> Beastly. Yeah. And that's his that's his other army. He got I'm not if I'm correct. He got three armies. He got the, the angels. Right. And the sons of man, the sons of man, right? Is and and um missiles. That's a, that's his other army. Um, Salakia. The lion, the, the, when he saw that lion, cause them things hurt. They're gonna be brutal. They're gonna be fucked up. You fucked up. Fucked up. Huh? And out of their mouth issue fire and smoke. And brimstone. That's that. That's that nuclear. Right. That's like there you go, right there. Yeah, there's an illustration. Right uh -huh. there. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not going to be funny, man. 
That's why like a lot of a lot of people take this thing for a joke, man. Like this is deadly serious. This is not just like dress up time. This is like an after school special, man. You know? And this is ser deadly serious. And we're all trying to make it out of this place alive, man. That's why the scriptures say above all things have perfect charity amongst yourself. Even if you understand all these prophecies, right? And you have no all mysteries, Paul said in 1 Corinthians 13. And no, they talk in the language of the angels, but have not charity, you are nothing. Yeah. So if you don't love one to another, the brothers, like you love yourself, right. you help a brother, you, if he asks you to go a mile, you go with him twain. You can be considerate over just these least of things, because the Lord said, uh, he that is faithful over a least of these things matters, roughly paraphrasing, I shall make you ruler over much. And the Lord said that in my father's house, there's many mansions, man. Yeah. That, that means there's, there's going to be planet of uh, intergalactic travel, if you will. There's many mansions. We're talking about the Lord Yahweh, the, the, uh, 